guys. Facebook, Instagram, Google Plus, and Twitter. It's the Mad Little Mermaid Show. Woo! I can't stop showing off my nails. So here we are. Yes, we've been working at Mad Fall 2017. And Madeline just did a segment where she did her own nails, right? Yeah. And you also baked some banana bread, didn't yeah. you? And um, we've been super busy, actually, with our own radio show, right? Uh-huh. We're on United Reach Network, and we're on every Monday night from 4 to 6 p.m. We're also on iTunes, right? Yeah. And so, then we're on Spotlight. Spotlight Radio? Yeah. So if you want to catch the show... Every Monday night, it's live, or you can go to our Facebook page, and the uh, podcast link is also posted there. Sorry if my voice goes in and out. It's been cracking all day. I've had a bad stomach and stuff. It's just, I'm a little sick, um, so sorry if my voice is cracky on the video. You're just getting over a cold, huh? Yeah. It's okay. So, um, I think what we're getting ready to do now is a candy review, right? Yeah. We're just going to start off the show with a candy review. So, we're going to do... And since it's always something to do with sour, Madeline picked it out today. Sour Patch Kids. I already took one out of the Sour bottom. Patch Kids. I haven't tried it yet. Gum, right? This is the gum. <laughs> yeah. This isn't even candy. It's the I actual gum. I haven't tried it yet. I just took one that pack out of the bottom because I know these are going to be mine. Um, All right. Here it is. It smells good. This is Sour Patch Kids berries. gum. Yeah, this is like Red, one of those big packs. Red berry. Sorry with the squeaking noises are Red berry. Here, turn it this way so we can see so we can see it. Oh, that's okay. Oh, it's upside down. down. There we go. Sour Patch Kids gum. And they are really see. There's a lot. Okay. Oh, what's <laughs> Yeah, I think somebody tried one. Imagine that. Oopsies. <laughs> okay. Here, mommy. Okay, dope. One for mommy. Okay. One for Madeline. Let's see what's happening. It smells like berry delicious. Don't eat it yet. It's red berry. Okay, there is actually some sour candy, um, sour sugar on it. So it doesn't smell sour at all. One, two, two three, three. smells really yummy. It's not bad. Let's see if I can place this over there. Oh! Is it? Mm. It doesn't. But it's not as bad. It's some of the candy that we've had on yeah, the show. Yeah, like the Warheads. No, that actually tastes pretty good. My mom, it's just the sour like for a minute after If it you hit. haven't watched the Warheads video, please go watch that. My mom literally cried like there were tears coming out it of her. It almost made me throw up. It was gross. My tongue started bleeding. Too. I would not suggest that candy to any kid. Mm -mm. But this, this gum is pretty good. I would recommend I this. I'm, I would. I think it's not bad. It says sour, but it's only sour for like a second. And and sour Patch Kids. I don't think it was meant to be sour. <clears throat> sour then sweet, it says. It's good. I'm going to have another piece. I like it. And don't forget, guys, we have our fashion show coming up it October the 28th at the Flamingo Water Park Resort in Kissimmee, Florida. Mad's fashion show. Mm -hmm. We have a, a full lineup of designers. We've got Lauren Devon, Look 42, Betta Novias, um... Paparazzi jewelry. We have vintage fusion. Um, Mad Mommy production models. They'll be uh, modeling their Halloween costumes again. Mm -hmm. Right? I like these because they give you a little twitch at the beginning. You're like, And then you're like. The gum is uh, sweet to me now. Yeah, I want you to try two together. Oh, I'm it good on all that. It tastes intense when you do two together. Here, Mommy. I'm good, thanks. Come on. I already tried one. You got it. You got to do two together. It's good. But anybody that wants to buy it, definitely go ahead and grab them. They're delicious, right? Mm -hmm. Hold on. My Mommy's going to do two together. No, I'm good, thanks. It gives you a little pop. Come on, pippy up. <laughs> you broke my nails. Okay. Can can you, can you I'm going to be doing um, my setup routine. I do but I'm only going to do like 10 right Your now. exercises that you've been working on all summer, right? Mm -hmm. Trying to get in shape. And it, it worked. You lost like four pounds over the yeah, summer. Yeah, I lost like five, four pounds. So. so you got to keep going. So this is part of your routine every day at I, home, right? I'm up to like 300 now. 300 what? Sit-ups. You're up to 300 sit-ups? I did 200 last night. So, yeah. Whoa. 
Okay, let's see what you got. I'm only going to do 10 right now. Okay. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Excellent. And what else do you do? Um, I do my push-ups. Okay. This is kind of like a yoga mat I'm on right now. Yeah, it gives us nice and soft. This is what you use at home, right? Yeah. Okay. So you're going to do your push-ups? I do girly push-ups. That's fine. Don't mess with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, get your face down there, ten. And I do my last thing I do is planks. You're planking? So, okay. Let's... I do planks and jumping jacks. Okay, so we're going to do some planking. Tell me when I should start. Go ahead. Oh, you guys do this in PE? Not much, but sometimes. And then you go like to one arm? Go like this. Oh, one leg. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's good for your core, right? Mm hmm Okay. Awesome, awesome. And so what else do you do? Jumping jacks? Yep. Okay, here we go. Turn the mat. Turn your little mat. Okay, here we go. Tell One. Me go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Stop. Eleven. Stop. Twelve. Stop. Woo! <laughs> Hi guys, so we're back today with Madeline's show, and I'm going to be doing fake nails. I'm going to be doing Impress fake nails. There are directions on the back, and I've done these by myself before because they're pretty easy. They're just stick-ons, and I bought these ones at CVS. So what you do is there's this is hooked on to this package, the prep pad package. But first of all, since we don't want to push back our cuticles before we do this, because it'll burn, we're going to do some um, acetone, our nail, nail polish. polish remover. And we're just going to wipe off all You need to clean polish. off the old polish. Okay. So what I normally do is just fill the cap with some nail polish remover. Yeah, that way you don't spill it, right? Mm -hmm. So you just carefully fill up the cap with some nail polish remover. And, then you set and don't the get it all over the, the counter or on paint because it will actually damage it. Yes. It'll eat the finish off of whatever mm -hmm. it touches, right? Especially and nail polish. This is polish. actually acetone nail polish. It's you not, can use this for Barbies and non -acetone stuff. Non-acetone you have to use on fake nails once they're done so that you don't really move them. But this actually has a little acetone in it. And it's, I think, got some fragrance to it. Yeah, it but good. I don't like the smell of acetone for some reason. No, nail polish remover smells, but I think this actually has fragrance added it to it. It kind of smells like lavender, honestly. It says Juniper Breeze. So, I think they tried to give it a fragrance to this particular one. It's actually coming off really easily. Good. I just did this, so it's probably coming off because of that. It's not old. You had heavy polish on it, though. No, it's not real old. You just did it like yesterday, didn't you? Yeah, but it turned out terrible because I did my um my hand with my undominant hand so it looks kind of ugly <laughs> i thought it was pretty but you even it's did just the design it's, and it was old too mm -hmm. the nail polish the that polish I used, itself yeah so it gets kind of clumpy right, but it looks like you're getting your nails cleaned up real good okay so we'll be back once that's done all right perfect my fingers now we're gonna get the dirt out of underneath the nails so you just take the little pointy end and put it underneath the nail. Don't press it's an too orange hard, stick, right? Or it'll hurt. Yeah. A little wooden orange stick. So you just put your hand down in here. There you go. It's harder to do it this way. 
Yeah, you gotta clean under the nails and push the cuticles back, right? So you use the little flat tipped part. Okay. So you just now Perfect. since I've done my own saloning to my nails. A nice and clean. I'm gonna use the little a prep pad. No, the um buffer. Yep. So I'm just gonna straighten the top. Oh, just to file them a little bit. Just so they're nasty jagged. and when they start growing, they don't like go up high. So they're not all jagged. And they don't go over the nails. Cause my nails are really long. It's good you don't bite your nails. That's nice. And you I'm have nice fingernails. Tops. Very nice. And all the nail polish you miss on your nails, you'll get it with the alcohol prep pad because that'll get all that. It'll clean whatever nasty is left on there. Nasty nail polish off. All right, okay. very good. So here's the prep pad. It keeps nails on. <laughs> it's what happens is it actually just prepares the nail bed. It dries it out and cleans anything the left that's left on it. The one thing I don't like so about no moisture under alcohol the nail. prep pads is after you push your cuticles back, it kind of burns the inside, but a little it doesn't, bit. doesn't hurt. It sanitizes them though. It's not a bad it's thing. Bad. And rubbing alcohol is not bad for you. Just don't eat it or drink it. Yeah, definitely not. Just to put on your skin, not it inside. Feels, actually, it feels pretty nice. It's watery, but like... And it, it'll dry it out so there's no moisture in the nail when you go to put the nails on. So I'm just gonna take this. Just let that dry. There's moisture in that paper towel, honey. I know, it's not on the top where I'm doing it. There we go. So now we're ready to put the nails on. So I'm gonna start off with the two. These are gels? Special nails, yeah, these are the gel cover ones. Nice, and they have adhesive already on them? Yes, so you see don't there's have a little use, peel back here. You don't have to use glue? Mm-mm. And they stay on really good, because I remember the last time you had them, you took a bath and you wore them for like a couple few days before you had to take them off. You just gotta press a little hard so I don't fall off, obviously. They are pretty pointy if you wanna buff them before you put them on, but. The tips are rounded, they're pretty nice. Oh, did you even see the designs I got? Cute, I know we'll see them when they're done too, right? Yeah, so there's just whites and a bunch of stuff like that, see? I just made the biggest mistake of I, that I've ever done in my home. Time. What? I'm doing my thumb and my pointer finger before I did the other hand. Oops. It's okay. This thumb is way too big. Yeah, make sure you measure them first before you take the sticky stuff off of them, right? Mm-hmm. Otherwise, you have to take them off and start over. It kind of hurt, though. Yeah, be careful. Make sure you measure them all first. Okay, so we'll be back. Right, so you're just about finished. Very concentrated. I see that. Everything has gone quiet in this room. They look pretty. Don't show them. It's not Don't look. We're looking. To surprise. Cool. All right, put your hands down on the table there so we can see how Let me they looked. Squish it quick. Hold on. Press it down hard. All right, let's see the finished product. So your nails are done. Lay them flat so we can see them. Very cute. They look great. All right, so that's it. How to do your own nails, huh? Mm-hmm. And they're really easy, honestly. Like, it's not... And you can use this filer if you don't have one. For... Just like to... The tips. <laughs> I get it. Very cool. And there's a bunch of instructions on the inside, but I already knew how to do this. It's the the sizes and stuff. Right, how to measure your fingers to the nail. Very nice. Way to go, kiddo. Beautiful job. Shh, bye. Today we're going to be doing some banana nut bread. And this is 
Martha White Banana Nut Bread not sponsored. And it's only water, banana nut, um, banana, and banana nut powder for Martha's. So yeah, let's do this. So first thing you want to do is take your banana out of the peel, and then you put it in your bowl and smash it up. It's easier to break the banana first, so you can easily smash it. So you just take the fork and push down on it until it's pretty much mashed to the point. So I'll be back in a second. Oh, yeah, and remember, ha you have got to have clean hands, and you're supposed to have your oven to 425. And um, I am actually dead mashed in the bananas. This is what they should look like, like a pasty thing. So the next thing you want to do is just pour the banana mix in. You don't do it too fast so it, all the powder doesn't rush out and you might get some all over your face. You're doing a double batch, right? Yes. If you're doing a double batch, you might have to have double amount of ingredients. Is that true? Or no? Okay. Yeah, basically, yeah, you are. You're doubling up your whole yeah. recipe. So, here's the next one. There's the second oh, one. A fast. Very cool. Now I'm just gonna mix it up. And what else? You forgot something? Oh yeah, and the lot hot. You're supposed to have it to eight, one cup of water or eight ounces. So pour that in. This is where the magic happens, and then it makes bread. And then you stir it up. It's, it's kind of watery. That's banana nut bread. Yeah, but it's it'll get real pasty. Different. It won't. It'll be real pasty once it's done. I'm gonna do a test test before we put it in the oven. I'll bet you will. Because that's the best thing to do. <laughs> you taste test. Raw batter. You have to be careful. And this one doesn't have eggs, so it's not bad. It's just water. Okay. Make cool. Make sure to um mix it. Good, so there's no chunks. Well, it's in. gonna be kind of lumpy because there's walnuts yeah, in but this it's one. Yeah, like and banana powdery chunks. Try and get all the powdery chunks out because yep. it might mess up your batch and you will have powdery lumps in your bread. Yeah. Yuck. All right. Cool. Oh, I forgot you were here, guys. I finished and yeah. So now it's time for the taste test. That is so good. Now we got the pan grease, we're gonna put the batter in the pan. So I'm just gonna take a spatula um, and take the bowl basically with my hands and hold it over and just plop it on in because it's batter and it tastes amazing. And I know you like the batter better than the bread you said. Okay, it. it tastes amazing. I'm gonna leave some in there. Now let's put it in the oven. Make sure not to burn yourself when doing this. Make sure you have parental supervision because it's like you're making a whole feast huh, for the holiday. Yourself. So this is your dessert. Yes. So there you go. There's your banana bread, and you pop that in the oven for a few minutes, like 12 minutes, it says, right? Yeah. And now I like your. Like the bones. That's the best part, and I like your apron too, by the way. Thank you. You're welcome. Mmm, yummy. Okay, so we'll be back when your banana bread is cooked and we'll see how it is. All yep. right. Great job. And the best thing to do with banana bread is milk, so I'm probably going to get some milk. So. Oh, milk and banana bread, yummy. It's still pretty warm. Yeah, so, so be careful when you cut really it. Easily. Gotta be careful. Just cut a little bit. Oh, okay. I'll cut it. Just enough for you to try. Oh my gosh. And you're just going to put it on the plate. Okay. You just see it's still kind of steamy, yeah. so you're going to let it... Well, you're going to let it cool for a couple minutes. A couple minutes more. Oh, okay. And you're making things for yourself. Hi, Miss Madeline. Yeah. Here she is. She's standing out here, and it's kind of breezy, right? What's yeah. going on? Uh, I just broke my foot, and then I took my cast off. She didn't really break her foot, but what are we doing today? Um, we're checking out the storm. What storm is that? Uh, Hurricane Irma. Hurricane Irma, and you have a cold, don't you? Yeah. I know. Not the a good day. The flooding, it was... It's much better. Yeah, we got a live video of it. Really it was very bad. It was bad. like up to my ankles here, and then over here... It was all the way to the top of the screen room. And over here was over... 
Yeah, it was about to come into the screen room. It was like right here. Exactly. It was so. like really high. It was like this much and it came into the screen room. Yeah. There's actually a worm and stuff from it. And there are snakes hiding in it too, so. Maybe. I, I don't think there's any snakes right now, but there can be. Oh, here's really a wind windy. gust. It's very windy out right now. We're getting a lot of wind gusts. I'll be right back. Not much rain, but wind big time. And just stay right there. Don't go far. And so Madeline's out here helping me monitor this situation. Did you step in the mud? Rinse your foot off in the water right there. I know. I did the same. No, not that water. On the end of the sidewalk there. See it? Step in that last brick there. There you go. Swish your foot around a little. Go in the next one over, even. It's a little deeper. It's a brick. Oh, you might get the top of your head wet. Splash, splash. There you go. It is raining. It's raining, but it's like... But a, it's not raining under here. It's like a it's mist. Like, and it's not raining directly under here. No, well, I've got this... There's a cover. A little awning right there. Yeah. I'm going to go... Quick, hold on. I'm going in? Back. Okay, bye. Okay, oh. so Hurricane uh, Irma. And here's a big wind gust coming now. i got to hold on tight to this camera. I was trying to get it on the live video earlier, but my phone died. So I've got it back on the charger. And I'm out here with the camera, and I'm going to be taking um, footage of the progression of this um, Hurricane Irma 2017. We haven't had a whole lot of rain. We had a little bit of flooding earlier, but we got it stopped. And um, I'm just kind of monitoring the wind by the trees, honestly. You really can't see the wind other than that. But you can feel it. It's definitely, the temperature's gone way down. It's much chillier now, which is a good thing. Um, but this is just the outer bands. It hasn't even hit land yet. These are just outer bands. We've been feeling them since probably uh, mid to late morning here in Wesley Chapel, Florida. First of all, I literally rolled out of bed. <laughs> then I go to the bathroom. No, I just brush my hair out. Then I washed my face. <coughs> um, the water is how? Oh uh, yeah. Then I brushed my teeth. Two hours later. Oh, I forgot to wipe my face. I leave the bathroom. Okay, that worked. Uh, hmm. Why not? First day of school, right? Wait, I'll just wear my dad's shoes. They fit me, right? Wait, do I have P.E. today? Uh, I have to bring my gym clothes? No, no. <laughs> I ate. P.E. I hate it. Some reba finally got them on. What should I do now? Oh, yeah. Breakfast. I wish Mom and Dad were awake. That'd be a real hand. <laughs> oh, this looks good. I don't really want to watch TV this morning. Why not sit at the breakfast table? Mm-hmm. Hmm, Mom and Dad are sleeping. What should I do? Oh. Cereal. 
s'mores. Here, let's get some milk. Let's do this thing. 1% more fat. Nice. You guys, make sure, even though your mom and dad are asleep, or they are, help them out a little bit and get yourself dressed. Wake up by yourself and remember, always do it right. Wash your face and beauty yourself up, even though your mom and dad aren't awake. So, that's what I did today because my mommy and daddy are in the bedroom. Shh. I'm going to drink my Sunny D. Mm, that's really good. I think I want to have another bit of my cereal. I forgot to pack my sunglasses. I'm going to be like one of those cool kids. Ooh. Hi, Daddy. Come on, Mom. you guys like this video thank you for watching bye we've had quite an eventful show with madeline exercising and baking banana bread and what else did you do? oh you did your fingernails and all kinds of fun you stuff. Know, we just did the fingernails yeah those are cute so now we're going to go into the t-shirt review right yeah so go ahead and tell the viewers about your t-shirts um so you can get a normal one of these for 10 Madeline Mommy Show t-shirt. This I is a child. Sell, this is a child size. I right? sell mine for 12. And how is this different from any other t-shirt? It's customized, so if you can't see on the sides, it's like rippled and broken in some of these. And tied. Yes. You did this yourself, right? Yeah, and I do cropping, I do signing, I do coloring all over the shirt. You can sign it and draw it. I can on crop it. it. So like if you want a belly shirt, I have a lot of the cropped ones. <laughs> I like this one. This one's really very cute how you did this. I like my cropped one because it's like really pretty and it makes me look like slim. Sometimes. So if anybody wants a customized t-shirt for Madeline, how much are they? Twelve. Twelve dollars? Mm -hmm. Okay. And you can order them by sending us an email to madmommyshow2015 at gmail.com, right? And say customize in your request to like cropped, tied, or... um. Well, however you want it, like signed, cut, signed, if or you want something special, you know, like drawn colored, on the back, color whatever, thing, right? Yeah. And we'll respond, okay? And then um, here's another one of our products that we have. What is that? Uh, it's our desk tab. Sorry, there's a little... That's, that's our mouse pad. Yeah, there's mouse pad. It's our mouse pad. Yeah. And those are how much? This is 15. Yep. And, and our CDs are 15 too. We have DVDs also of the Madeline and Mommy show. That's right, you just tell us which episode you like, and we'll send it to you in the mail. Right? Yeah. So, um... Um, madmommyshowgmail.com. Uh, gmail yep, exactly. And don't forget to give us a like on our YouTube channel, right? Thumbs up. Oh. How um, many thumbs up do we need? I've been doing this on my channel lately. So, we've been doing seven seconds. So, I want you to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell down below in seven seconds. If you can do that, um, comment down Madeline Mommy Show. Yeah, perfect. We'll like you guys. So, seven, six, five, four, three, two. We hope you enjoyed the show, right? Oh, yeah. If you could do that seven-second challenge, comment down Madeline and Mommy show. Yes, definitely um, we'll, for sure. Because we need we'll, at least 500 likes. Yeah, we'll like your comments. Definitely. And Mommy always takes the time to comment back, too, right? Yep. Because we love all of our fans. Yep.
Peace out, guys. Love you, dudes. Bye. Facebook, Instagram, Google Plus, and Twitter. It's the Madeline and Mommy Show. Madeline is now nine, Ooh. and it's been like three years since we've had this show. I know. Or and now, four and now, years. And now we have our own radio show. It's so been don't forget four to catch us live years. every Monday night on URN, United Reason Net Network. Can you guys believe it's been four years? It's three years. Oh, because I'm nine, and we started when I was five. Yeah, it's been three years. It's been four. It's been three. We're on the third season. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Silly birds. Bye. Bye.